first, here's tonight's business news. Kenya Airways has cut its net loss for the year ended December 2021 by more than half on the back of increased revenue on domestic and regional routes amid a tight lid on operating costs. The national carriers reported net loss dropped 56 percent to 15.88 billion shillings compared with a record loss of 36.5 billion shillings a year earlier when COVID restrictions hit its operations, including grounding of its planes for months. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. The national carrier has managed to reduce its overall losses by 56% from a record loss of 36 billion shillings to a reduced loss of 15.88 billion shillings, with KQ attributing the loss to reduced operating costs and an increase in its revenues. According to the airline's CEO, Alan Kilavoka, they've also managed to renegotiate their lease agreements on their fleets, reducing it by 11 billion shillings over the period. Renegotiate and support from uh, particularly our big suppliers uh, to re look at the terms of uh, payment uh, so that we can extend the terms of payment, uh, defer some of the payment that we need to make, uh, and stretch them out so that we can uh, use the cash flow available uh, to make the payments. In 2021, revenues increased by 33% to 70 billion shillings, which the airline says could have been higher were it not for the Omicron variant that restricted movement to some of its key markets which is a 25% increase over what they had posted the previous year due to the easing of restrictions around the world. Fixed costs also reduced by 26.5% due to reduced fleet ownership and costs which include leasing out of aircrafts to other carriers like Congo Air. We can take you through the, through the details, but what I would like to emphasize today is when you see the results, I think you'll see a significant improved performance by Kenya Airways during 2021, which indicates not just the recovery in, in passenger numbers that came through, but also in the efforts by KQ staff across the board to help improve our performance, our results, improve our service delivery, and so getting people back to fly with us. Father Kilavuka stated that they are working towards the establishment of a Pan-African airline, which will have carriers such as the South African Airways and Congo Airlines to create a stronger regional carrier. KQ is confident that it will return to its pre-COVID numbers in 2024 after air travel normalizes around the globe. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV.